Sign it. You what? The receipt. Sign it. What, just like that? Without so much as a cursory perusal? What's to peruse? These are my possessions here, Mr Kirby, what I come in with. It may very well be that during the intervening years, well... Well, what? Well, I'm just saying. Just saying what? Well, you know... Fletcher, are you implying that there are people in this prison who might resort to stealing? Yeah, about 800 of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, steal this rubbish. It's not rubbish. These are my possessions, All my right. valuables. Go on, check them off. If anything's missing, take it up with Lloyds. <laughs> One pen knife, tartan. Yes. One belt, brown. Yes. One South African shilling. Eh? Oh, yeah, look at that. One tin corn plasters. Yeah. One uh, hang on, hang on, hold your horses, hold your horses. One tin corn plasters containing one, two, three, four. This is one of these missing, look. <laughs> Can we get on? You don't get bad feet, do you? <laughs> Where's my billiard chalk? Here it is. Hey, someone's used that and always got hold in, look. One billiard chalk used. <laughs> one key ring, Tottenham Hotspur, two keys. Yeah. One receipt, shoe repairers. Oh, that's what it is, yeah, look at that. Brown, broke, sold and healed. I wonder if they're ready yet. <laughs> one Ladbrokes pocket diary for 1974. Yeah, that's right. Hang on, hang on. Just have a shift here, look. See what I've written here. Look at that, see? No entry after September the 11th, that fateful day. I've written, look, a tragic misdirection of a jury by a biased judge. <laughs> Pound each way, laughing boy, A.Pop. <laughs> you spelt bias wrong. Yeah, spelt laughing boy wrong and all. Should have been red rum. <laughs> Look at that. Fond farewell to wife and family. Remind our Ingrid to collect my shoe repairs. <laughs> yeah. Can we get on? Not much of a sentimentalist, are you? No. Do you know, Mr Kirby, in all the time I've been staying at this hotel, I don't think I've ever seen you smile. Fletcher, you haven't been out for three and a half years, have you? Three years, eight months, four days, sir. Huh? Well, let me promise you something. There's precious little to smile about out there. To you, maybe not, no. But what you take for granted will be objects of unsurpassable joy to me, you know. Like having hot water to shave in, clean sheets, the right to sit on your own lavatory for as long as it takes to read the sun. <laughs> <laughs> About a minute and a half. <laughs> Privacy, warmth, no smell of disinfectant or waterlogged cabbage. The right to sit by the flickering flames of your own artificial log gas fire. Gas bills, hot water bills, all sorts of bills. Bigger bills than when you come in. Privacy, warmth, in a doll queue. I'll be all right. Oh, well, if the worst comes to the worst, you can always send this lot up to Sotheby's for auction. <laughs> Good luck, son. <laughs> Jammy Arab. How? Go on out. So? Jammy Arab. Who are you calling a Jammy Arab? Look at you. <laughs> no, well, not before time, is it, eh? I've done my porridge. Aye, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, your time will come and all, don't worry. I'm the last of our little crowd, eh? Yes, our little sewing circle, yes. Ah, oh, Lenny's gone. Warren. Luke Warren. Yeah. They've all embarked on the fresh starts in life. Well, some more fresh than others. I had a letter from Luke Warren. Hey, how's he doing? Not too good. His case comes up Wednesday. <laughs> no. He's only been out three months. I know. It's a bit difficult for him being a bit, uh, lilac, you know what I mean? Well, who cares these days? Everybody's tolerant about things like that. Not in Middlesbrough, Jock. No, no, no. <laughs> it comes from Middlesbrough, you see. Very difficult being lilac in Middlesbrough. For the hard, inflexible breed of man in Middlesbrough, as is demonstrated by their football team. <laughs> oh, look. Jar of Marmite, would you like that? Yeah, sure. Use that for suntan lotion, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing for anyway? Who looked one? Oh, right. stealing a lady's handbag. Yes, of course, he swears it was a mistake. He said he reckoned it was his own. It's <laughs> <laughs> easy, Fletch. Well, we know that. We've both been in and out often enough. Yes, well, this is it for me. Oh, I Oh, enough. I know, I know. I've said it all before. Yeah, I know I have. But now, at my age, I've decided it's time I started to act my age. Do you know, there's very few people in any prisons over 35. Did you know that? Surprising, isn't it? Well, this time for me, not au revoir, it is goodbye, right? I'm 45, you know. 45 years of age. And I've worked out that uh, I've spent about seven days, on average, seven days out of every 30 in some nick or another. That's a week in every month, isn't it? Shocking waste, isn't it? I'm doing worse than you. 
in and out since I was 14. And before that, there was the orphanage, which was another kind of prison. Yeah, well, it is more difficult for your lot, isn't it? Because there is a lot of prejudice against your lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's not easy being half black. I'm not talking about being half black, I'm talking about being half scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner be daft. People are not prejudiced against the Scots. Oh, I am. <laughs> hey, you are. That's because Mackay's a Scot. It's Mackay you hate, really. Oh, you've noticed, have you? You know, you're lucky he's not black. Then you wouldn't be allowed to hate him, would you? That is true. That's very true, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I should miss hating him, though. Do you know, if there was two things I could take away from this prison as souvenirs, do you know what it'd be? What? I'll give you a clue. They both belong to Mr Mackay. <laughs> Off you go, then. Just a minute, just a minute. Left something behind, have you? Yeah. Three and a half years of me life. Right, then. Off you go. I want to hear this door shut behind me first. I'm supposed to see you off the premises. Why? You think I'm going to try and get back in, do you? <laughs> Some would like to. They can't face it outside. Listen, mate, you're never going to see me hammering on this door, crying, let me in, I'll tell you. Right, then. You'd better move on a bit sharp. <coughs> all right, all right. Please. What's up? Oh, I don't matter, JC. Oh, and uh, one cheese and a mile, please. Haven't got any. Oh, well, Am will do then. There's no sandwiches, I haven't a chance to make them up yet. Well, what have you got then? Scotch eggs? I'm not eating Scotch eggs. <laughs> I'm not eating anything Scotch. <laughs> you have got any Welsh eggs, have you? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll have a sausage roll provided it's English. Just on the last one. Pork pie? Sorry. All right, let's start again, shall we? Eh? I am famished. What can you offer me? Kit Kat. <laughs> Just a beer, yeah. What's this? Two bob, 10p. I want another 16p. 26p for a beer? Of course it is. Where you been? Prison. <laughs> for grievous bodily harm. <laughs> I'll see. You accept South African shillings, do you? <laughs> well, you do now. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll make you up a sandwich straight away. Uh, cheese and tomato, won't it? Yeah. <coughs> we couldn't start none of Johnny Walker on the site. I said I'm a two and stuck. Take that to him over there, will you? <laughs> I believe this is yours. Thank you, Mr. McCoy. <laughs> Good God. Now, don't pretend you're surprised. You must have known I was coming down this train. What is this, surveillance? Slip my mind entirely, otherwise I'd have caught the earlier train. The feeling is mutual. Oi. Oh, you with him, then? In a manner of speaking, yes. We are... We are from the same establishment. Oh, I see. Sorry, sir. The beer, the whiskey. How much is that? Oh, no, no, it's all right. No rush. You might want some more. <laughs> so? So what? First taste of freedom, is it? Expensive taste. Cost of living. Well, sit down, then. You're making the place look untidy. Ironical twist of fate, isn't it, eh? Because it was you who first brung me up here, wasn't it, eh? You and old Mr. Barakoff all them years ago. Going down for some other poor old nerd, and I, you know. No. 
Personal reasons. Oh, ah, yeah. Must be going to the smoke, though, are you? Oh, yeah. Why? None of your business. Oh, it's that personal, is it, eh? What's her name? No, none of your lip fat. Oi, 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 you can't talk to me like that, you know, now. Oh, no, you mustn't point your little miniature at me now. <laughs> I'm a free man now, you and me equal, right? Never. Never, Fletcher, not in a million years. <laughs> oh, funeral, is it? What? Going for a funeral down to the Great Metrolop site? Fletcher, I've no wish to discuss my private affairs with the likes of you. Well, now, let's see. If it's not a woman, and come to think of it, it couldn't be, not in that hat. Uh, you're not going down for a course, are you? Because you went to Godalming last year for one, didn't you? You're not, uh, you're not going on leave because you had two weeks at Easter, didn't you? Remember? Went to Aberdeen, it peed down. Do you remember that? <laughs> and, uh, you're not going up for a promotional board because they passed you over last November, didn't they? How do you know all this, Fletcher? Nothing is hidden in the nick, Mr Mackay. Of course, your birthday's coming up soon, isn't it, eh? April the 23rd, Taurus. The bull, very appropriate. <laughs> now, what has my birthday got to do with anything, eh? Nothing. Unless you're coming up to uh, compulsory retirement age. Oh, yeah, that's it, is it, eh? 55, yes. Thanks very much. Goodbye time, innit? What are they going to give you? Golden truncheon? <laughs> A digital clock. Oh, dear. <laughs> Here. Yes, sir. Two whiskies, doubles. Yes, sir. Of course, you're going for a job, ain't you? That's your interview suit, isn't it? None of your business. You and me both. That's ironical and all, isn't it, eh? We've both led very different lives over the past 25 years, haven't we? And now here we are in the same boat, jobless. I beg your pardon. Fletcher, at least do me the courtesy of not putting me on the same footing as you. Oh, that's right now, isn't it, mate, <laughs> eh? We're both shuffling along in the same dole queue. Not me. Oh, really? Have you got the qualifications to leapfrog this country's million and a quarter unemployed in a Fletcher, ever? there must still be room in this country for an honest, diligent, industrious man willing to do a hard day's work for fair day's pay. Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. Industrious, diligent, honest. That'd make you a unique case, wouldn't it? They wouldn't know what to do with you, would they? <laughs> this is Stafford. This is Stafford. The train now approaching Platform 1 is the 118 from Carlisle. Calling at Rugby, Watford Junction and London Euston. Oi! Okay! That's a job you could do, you know. Pardon? Guard on a train. Yeah, suit you, that would. Uniform man. You could exchange your transom for a flag and whistle, couldn't you? Bradshaw, I intend to seek a position with a little more dignity than a railway guard. Traffic warden. <laughs> Why do you assume that I need a uniform? Well, because you've always had one, haven't you? You've always hidden behind that mantle of security, haven't you? Eh? When you were a boy, you left school in schoolboy uniform, straight into the army, weren't you? Boy soldier, right the way up uh, to sergeant major. Yes, it's all in your file, I've read it. I became a boy soldier, <laughs> Fletcher, out of expedience. Too many mouths in our family to feed. Lanarkshire coalfields, unemployment, hard time. I grant you, the army became a kind of a home, but one that I was grateful and proud to sir. Yeah. Then you went straight into prison service, didn't you? You see, you've never been out in the cold, have you? No, you're wrong there, Fred. Absolutely wrong. But let me tell you, between 1951 and 1953, Marie, my wife and I, ran a boarding house in Peebles. The stuff cried. Ah, well, that would have been cold. Yes, right. <laughs> but that didn't last five minutes, did it? How do you know that, Fletcher? That was never in my file. Well, it stands to reason, doesn't it, eh? With Sergeant Major Mackay as a landlady, eh? Let's out, ten o'clock, stand by, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Who left that kipper here? <laughs> oh, yes, you can laugh, Fletcher, you can laugh. Strathclyde took most of my savings, took most of my demob pay, tried to re-enlist, joined the prison service instead. Twenty-five years later, out to pasture, like some 
Retired tip pony. Yes, you see, but you, you uniform men all make the same mistake, you see. You all do. Screws, cops, soldiers. You all think that, 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 that your loyalty is eternally appreciated by them you serve, don't you? Eh? The force, the regiment. Yes. Oh, they'll look after us, yeah. You seem to think there's some sort of father figure up there who looks after his own. But there's not, you know, there's not. There's just a computer, that's all. A big computer decides when your time's up and gives you the chop. Or in your case, the clock. <laughs> it's criminal, Fletcher. I just read it, it's criminal. Of course it is, that's why I know so much about it. Listen, you're, <laughs> you are in a very precarious position. Do you know that? I've seen it all happen. I've seen it. Bitterness leads to resentment. You think the world owes you a living. You'll probably finish up in the dock, you know. The dock? Yeah, yeah, in the dock, yeah. On some pathetic little charge. Stealing the tin of Dura, get out of Tesco's. <laughs> so, you can, so you can polish up your medals, take them round the pawn shop. Listen, if I was you, Fletcher, I'd pay a little less heed to my future and a bit more to yours. You're, you're not exactly a broke prospect, are you? No, no, no. I'm, but I have no illusions, you see. I've got no illusions. I expect nap all from society, so the chances are I shan't be disappointed. You'll be back. Let me tell you, Fletcher, the straight and narrow, no. The straight and narrow is not as easy as you think. You, you'll be back in crime in five minutes. You'll be back inside in five months in your uniform. No, no, no. I'm going straight. <laughs> I know you've heard it all before, and that's because I've said it all before. But the point is, when I said it before, I didn't mean it. I used to just say it for the parole board. Uh -huh. This time, I'm legit. But what will you do, man? What will you do? Well, I'll do the same as you, I suppose. I'll just pray that somebody gives us a break. Have I offended you? <laughs> no, I'm just going to pay the water bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have one for me, William. Save me get up. <laughs> yeah, do you mind if I tidy this lot up? I do wish you would. Uh, would you uh, like to sell that now? No, he's got all my money. <laughs> hey, Fletch? Tis Fletch, isn't it? Possibly. <laughs> Oaksy, remember? Oaksy, we did time together, Maidstone. Oaksy, Oaksy, oh, yeah. Oaksy, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's old Oaksy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I heard you've been sent up again. Yeah, yeah, well, you heard right, didn't you, eh? How long you been out? Oh, ages and ages, about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you mean this is... Yeah, I'm just going home now. Yeah, never. It's true, it's true. Sure. Well, what plans you got? Uh, my plans at the moment are very fluid. I'll have a scotch. Yeah, eh? <laughs> yes, I, uh, I suppose you must be a bit short just at the moment, eh? Not exactly flush. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I won't be a moment, Fred. Here, you seem to know a lot of people on this train. So? Not planning to knock it off, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Not till we've drunk all the beer. <laughs> Listen, Why aren't you watching that bag? The bag. That's just it. Look, Mr. Ten oh, I've just met someone. Someone? Yeah, someone who could maybe take the bag off for us. Who? Mate of mine. Just come out of Slade Prison. Needs a penny or two. Now, look, if Lily Laws rumbled us, they'll be waiting, right? So, my mate, he could take it off for us, eh? He's very reliable. I mean, you know, he's solid. How solid? Well, I mean, he's one of us. Always has been. Look, he's in the buffet on his own. You can judge for yourself. Come on, I'll introduce you. No, 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 no. You get back. Keep your eye on that bag. Oh. Feel better for that, do you? Shouldn't we have got another couple in? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah, yeah. While you're doing that, I'll go and let a couple out. <laughs> <laughs> Beg your pardon? I'm going to have my first <laughs> civilian slash. <laughs> oh, sorry. Morning. <laughs> Morning to you. Someone just uh, mentioned to me that you were on your way from Slade Prison. Oh? Who might that be? Oh, a friend of mine. Well, the chances are, if you recognise me, he's no friend of mine. Oh, on the contrary. He spoke very highly of you. Did he? He uh, said you were a man of integrity, a man one could trust. Well, like to think so? Um, London? Yes. And Denmark? 
Well, it depends how I get fixed up. Oh, uh, looking for a job. Right? Position, position. Oh, perhaps I could help you there. Well, I uh, hardly... May I? Please do. Thank you. I mean, would I have the qualifications? Oh, trust, integrity. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, 138. Oh, no, 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 allow me. No. No, no, no. no. Well... Thank you, sir. Deep <laughs> change. Argyle! What? Your tie. <coughs> Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, isn't it? Oh, you recognize it, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sixteen years, man and boy. One drop of class, too. Oh, uh, would have guessed it, Sergeant Major. You a military man yourself? Oh, uh, Green Howard, sir. Major. Sir. Oh, long time ago. Ah, nevertheless, we know, sir. Comrades in arms, that sort of thing. It's no, you see, sir, it's no coincidence that this country has gone to the docks since the abolition of national service. Bonghurst. <laughs> Look, uh, get straight to the point. Um, uh, I need to leave this train at Watford, but it's very important I have something delivered in London. A bag. Now, if you could do that for me, I would be very grateful. There would, of course, be suitable recompense. Uh, say nothing. It uh, needs to go. This dress. You leave it to me, sir. This your head office? Ed's Paint and Body Shop, Mile End Road. <laughs> Do this right, and we might see later about something more permanent. No? Oh, well, sir. There we are. I will uh, get the bag to you by and by. There you go. Now it's the crown jewels. Good. Fletcher? What? Norman Stanley Fletcher. So? I don't be coy, you, Fletch. I collared you once. Oh, yes, got you in it. Yes, sir. What's in the bag? What bag? That bag. This bag? Yeah, what's in it? Why? I've got a right to know. No, you haven't. You've got no right to come on this train and harass me. Now, come on, Fletch. A job has been done. The perpetrators are on this train, and I meet you. Now, you don't have to be Columba to put two and two together. Now, come on, Mr Scotcher, give us a break, will you? Look, I hate to mess up your hypothesis, but I've just come out from slave prison today. This is my first breeding day of freedom, it is. First day, huh? Yes, yes. It's easily provable, isn't it? He'll prove it for you. Who's he? This is Senior Prison Officer Mackay, this is. Hi. What's going on? What's, what's, what's going on here? Excuse me. Scotcher, flying squad. Is this man known to you? You've been at it already, Fletcher? Oh, come on, Mr Mackay. Just alibi me out of this lot, will you? Are you who he says you were, sir? Well, I don't know who he said I was, but I am senior prison officer Mackay. And this man left Slade prison today. Yes, he did. What's all this about? Well, there was a duel is done at Stafford. Getaway driver lost his nerve and the others whipped into the station. Well, you've got the wrong man here. He got on the train with me at Carlisle, so did I. <laughs> yes, we got a couple of them, but they didn't have the gear on them. That's why I'm assuming it's still on the train. Well, you better go and look for it, and Jack. Go on, on your way then. Right. I'll just have a look in this bag first. Oh, Let's hold on. Bag, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my bag. Hey? <laughs> Good. Certainly. 
But was Fletcher holding it for them? <laughs> oh, 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 I was, uh, I was minding it. I was minding it, see, because he was asleep, and there's a lot of criminals to use this line. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you, Flit. No, you won't. I'm going straight. <laughs> Heard that one before, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, smart man, Flit. Listen, why'd you say it was your bag? Simple. Because I knew it wasn't yours. Too right, it wasn't mine. Someone came and dumped it here. Just exactly as I meant. It must be mine. A fellow who came along, left a bag, didn't want to wake me. What do you mean it must be yours? A little commission that came my way while you were having a Jimmy Riddle. A military, a military acquaintance of mine asked me to deliver this back from in London and then we are going to discuss something a bit more permanent. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Would you, Adam and Eve, eh? What is so amusing to Oh, you? dear. If you was caught delivering that bag, Mr Mackay, you would be discussing something very permanent with a judge. I don't follow you. Listen, Mr Mackay, you and I are old adversaries, aren't we, eh? And, and believe me, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to drop you right in the class. But I can't. I can't. You see, it's day one of a new leaf. Besides, you done me a great favour, did you know that, even if you didn't know it? Fletcher, would you try and make some sense? Have a shifty in the bag. Betray your confidence? Never. I think you should. Good God! Yeah. Well, we've got to uh, hand us over to the authorities. Now, wait just a sit, think about it. Sit and think. No, no, wait a minute. I'm going to think about nothing. If you go and get the law, you'll finish up in court. You will have to admit to being conned into being their bag man, won't you, eh? Pro proper Narnia you're going to look then, aren't you, eh? Especially you looking for a job and all. What's security corps going to say to that at the interview, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you suggest, Fletcher? It's not our bag, is it? Get your coat. Let's leave it for the cleaners to find. I mean, he's gone, look, he's shut his puppy up, hasn't he? Eh? Let's just mosey off to our individual compartments, right? Fletcher, I think that's an excellent idea. Listen, listen. Let that be a lesson to you. Remember, the straight and narrow is not as easy as what you think. Oh. Fletcher? Oh, ta-da. <laughs> Shocking waste, don't it? Done the time. 